Apple is now said to be focusing on driver assistance features that are closer to how Tesla vehicles operate. Its autonomous driving system will have steering and brake acceleration support, but drivers will still remain in control of the car and must pay attention on the road. The Rabbit R1 is a bright orange walkie-talkie for AI. It features one big button that users push to talk, a chunky scroll wheel to browse the screen, and a rotating camera with its own privacy door. At $199, the device can be programmed to control apps and websites. This article tells the story of how Rabbit and Teenage Engineering collaborated to create what may be the most successful AI hardware launch to date. Pictures of what appears to be Google's Pixel 9 Pro flagship have been leaked. They show a device with completely flat edges and a redesigned camera bar. The Pixel 9 Pro features a three-camera setup inside an oval-shaped island, similar to the Pixel Fold. It appears to be slightly smaller than the Pixel 8 Pro with a 6.5-inch display. The SIM card slot now appears to be on the bottom of the device alongside the USB-C port. Google typically releases its Pixel phones every fall. This article presents a list of cutting-edge robotics startups and labs that Bill Gates is excited about. The last year has seen advancements in artificial intelligence that have resulted in programs that can create, calculate, process, understand, decide, recognize patterns, and learn in ways that resemble how humans learn. However, many robots still struggle to perform basic human tasks that require dexterity, mobility, and cognition. The applications for robots are almost limitless. While there will be issues with robots taking people's jobs, it's less likely that robots will replace jobs that people love and more likely that they'll be doing work people don't want to do. A modular scale is a mathematical rule that can be used to create intentional and harmonious topography sizing. Scientists are on the cusp of developing therapies to restore immune tolerance in conditions such as diabetes, lupus, and multiple sclerosis. Tolerance refers to the immune system's ability to ignore antigens that belong to the body while appropriately attacking those that don't. Current therapies for these diseases don't always work, and even when they do, the improvement is often modest. Results from studies are starting to show that it is possible to create curative treatments for these diseases. This article looks at several approaches that scientists are looking at to make those treatments a reality. Type Spec is a language for describing cloud service APIs and generating other API description languages, client and service code, documentation, and other assets. It provides highly extensible core language primitives that can describe API shapes common among REST, OpenAPI, GraphQL, gRPC, and other protocols. Type spec can create reusable patterns that establish guardrails for API designers and make it easy to follow best practices. A playground is available for trying type spec without installing anything. This book aims to help developers kickstart their journey to more efficient and error-free coding. It shares essential insights and best practices in web development. The book addresses common challenges, simplifies best practices, and teaches developers how to create readable, maintainable, and scalable code. The tips contained within will help developers collaborate with each other and become more efficient. A study from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory looked at how feasible it is that AI will perform certain roles and how likely businesses are to actually replace workers with AI tech. It found that most jobs being identified as at risk of AI displacement can't currently be automated economically. 2023 looked like one of the gaming industry's greatest ever years to players and outside observers. There were many top title releases, and hardware developments offered substantial improvements to the gaming experience. However, the year was brutal for those working in the industry. A record number of employees in the industry were laid off in 2023, and these layoffs have continued in 2024. Video game revenues are falling and development costs have grown considerably. Developers share their side projects making more than $500 per month in this hacker news thread. Links to yearly threads on the same theme going back to 2020 are available in the original post. The projects include a grounded adapter to stop Apple devices from slightly buzzing when plugged in, a GUI app for Kubernetes, and a template marketplace. Brex, which was once valued at $12.3 billion, is laying off about 282 staff today as the company is now emphasizing long-term thinking and ownership over short-term gains.
eBay recently paid a $3 million criminal penalty as part of a settlement related to a cyberstalking and harassment campaign conducted by a group of former employees. Securing the rights to content might mean that Netflix subscribers may see another price hike in the future, whether they like that content or not.